Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. Now in this video, what we will try to implement that I have already told you, right? So now here if you go, as we are logged in, if we are not logged in also, if I go to the post, I am able to get the data, right? So if I click on add post, if I am trying to add the post here. So I am able to add the post. If I refresh, I am able to get the post. So whatever the thing without login, I am able to get the post details. Now what we will try to do is, we will try to keep the authentication. So now when we are trying to make the post call here, so to get the post request, HTTP call. So if he if he has the authenticated token only, then he can make the call. If he doesn't have the authenticated token, he can't make the call. So we make it as an unauthorized. So we'll try to make it. So when we can get the authenticated token, when the user is logged in only, then we will be able to get the authenticated token. So that means indirectly what we are trying to make. So when the user is logged in only, we are able we, we need to get the call we need to get the data okay now for doing this one what we need to do is so right now this read mode and write mode is in true so that means it is open now we will keep that read and mode and then write mode it should be auth not equal to null so when he is logged in only he should be able to get the data so i click on publish so it is published now if you go here and if you try to refresh this one then now what it will happen we are getting unauthorized so here i am able to get that 401 unauthorized so that means permission denied so now we are not able to get that post data so now what we need to do so when the when we need to get the post data when the user is logged only we will be getting the post data okay so let's try to log in here test at the rate test.com and 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is the data and login so here login is it is successfully logged in if i click on post then also it is not valid why because we need we need to pass this one we need to pass the authenticated token to the video uh, to the to the post to the post details okay so now what i will try to do is so here we will try to do this one using the interceptors now in the services what i will do is so in the services i will create a new file that is auth token okay dot interceptor dot ts okay so this is the interceptor file and here what i will try to do is so http interceptor boilerplate we can get it automatically see you are able to get and here i can write auth token so this is the interceptor file what it is what it is doing it is just a service only so export class auth token interceptor it should implement the http interceptor so this http interceptor what it will try to it will, what it will try what it will do is it, it forces us to implement a method that is nothing but the intercept method so when we implement this http interceptor we it will force us to implement the method intercept intercept will have take two arguments that is nothing but the request what is the incoming request and the next so using this next only we can go to the next action so it will the return type should be a http a observable http event or any so it should be it should be an observable so now what i need to do so now here what i can do is first i need to get the token okay how can i get the token so let's go to the uh, auth selector so here i can go to the auth selector here what i will try to do is export constant get token okay so create selector of get auth state i can write first this one and the state so here i can return so now the as the in the user dot model if you go to the user dot model so user dot model so here this one is a private so what i can do is get user token okay i will write one getter method so now here i can return this dot token right this dot token so if you want you can write the condition also so if expiration date is less than the to now date means you can pass the null so like that also you can do it so if you want so that is advantage of the getters now here what i can do is sorry in the if you go to auth selector yeah here if state dot user first of all state dot user is present then send the state dot user dot user token or otherwise send it as null okay so this is the first step so get token will give us the token or otherwise if the token is not present it will give us a null now let's go to the auth token interceptor in this auth token interceptor first we will try to get the data <coughs> so 
so here what i can write return this dot so before we are, so we need to inject the store constructor okay store sorry private store of type store store okay so it should be of app state okay so let's we have injected the store and now in order to access the store store dot select of get token okay so we got the token and we can use the pipe operator and using the exhaust map okay using this exhaust map and we will get it we will get the token okay so now what i need to do here we got the token and i will take this one okay if not of token if token is not there so if token is not there means just move the request okay if it if the token is there if the token is there means then take let modified request okay let modified request is equal to request dot clone so you should make the clone and inside this clone what we need to do is we need to add the headers i we need to add the authentic parameter params so how we can add here i can write something like params okay so params and what is the param i will be having request dot params so i will try to add the append this one okay request dot params dot append so that the name should be of type auth and here the token token we need to append the token okay so this is how we can append this one so we have we got the modified request and what i can do is this one i can return the modified request here so we we have the token so just what we are doing is just we are appending the token and we are sending the data okay just what we are doing is we are appending the token and we are sending to the next so now we have successfully added the auth token interceptor now what we need to do is we need to add this one in the app module let's go to the app module where is this app module so app module and in the providers we need to provide i think provide i think http interceptors and we need to use class and we need to give the auth token interceptor i remember like this only yeah multi it should be true so so that multiple interceptors it should accept so we have registered the interceptor also now what we need to do so we have implemented auth token interceptor that's it i think mm, that's it let's try now if i go here so we are already logged in let's go to the post so now if i refresh this one okay we have the post yeah now we are able to get the data so post.json we got the author auth c so if i click on update if i try to update this one it will get updated if i try to delete it will be deleted if i try to add the post this is all going with the auth auth the token it is going see so if i click on add post it is getting added if i click on logout and if i go to the post so this is already present so that is the reason it is showing so if i refresh this one we are not able to get the data and we are getting a permission denied if i log in test at the rate test.com one two three four five six sorry one two three four five six now here in the post we are able to get the data so successfully we have appended the authentication token so now what we need to do is so in the next scenario we need to add the navigation guard okay so what is happening here <coughs> oh for this key is happening happening okay we will try to do that one also okay now in this scenario what we need to do is so now here what we need to do is so if you if are clicking on the post okay if you are clicking on the post what we need to do so we should not we should we should redirect the user to the login screen okay we should redirect we should make the user redirect to the login screen so let's try to see that one in the next video so if he is logged in only we will be able to show the post list if he is not logged in means he should we should redirect him to the login page so this one we will see in the next video so uh, using the activate guard we will try to implement that one okay so by this uh, let's uh, i hope that everything is completed so uh, everything will be completed next onwards you will see the next concepts what will, what will be there in the ngrx thing so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you